Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Craig. I have a couple of remarks to make, and it's related to what Professor Lemumba talked about. The first thing is that I think we have a misreading of our own history in Africa. And here is a correction. It wasn't Ghana that was the first country in Africa to become independent. That's wrong. Historically, it's wrong. It was the Sudan that became the first independent post-colonial African country. January 1st, 1956, almost a year earlier than, the, and than uh, uh, Ghana itself. So that's a correction that we need to make, give the credit to the Sudan. The second remark I would like to make is that uh, Professor Lemumba celebrated many of our leaders. But retrospectively, if you look at the presidents who have performed the best for the African people, many of the names he mentioned wouldn't rise to the top. So I have two countries who have been led incredibly well, but who never or rarely ever get the credit for that. And they are models that we should be all copying. The first one is Seret Sekhama of Botswana. President Hama and the late Vice President and then President Masseri built a country from scratch and Botswana became an African miracle. So if we want to know and understand how to build countries, we should look at Botswana as a model. Second country is Mauritius. These two countries, their annual growth, economically speaking, over the last 40 years almost, has been competing on the growth rate with the East Asians of Taiwan and Korea and others like them. Botswana ran 7, 8, 10% growth annually. So did Mauritius. The level of corruption in the public sector in Botswana is among the lowest in the continent, if not the world. So is Mauritius. And therefore, Botswana, for instance, has over $10 billion in foreign reserves. No other African country can say that. That didn't go to President Masseri or President Hama or those who came after them, their pockets. So these are two countries. If we want to see models of Africa that works, an Africa that's marching towards prosperity despite inequality in all of us, those are the two or three places that we need to, to look at. The final remarks there is that I'm Abdi Samatar from Somalia. This is my first session in Parliament. Somalia is known as a basket case. But I want to give you a two-second history of the country, because just like Hama in Botswana and in Mauritius, Somalia did something before any other African country post-independence did. Somalia was the first place in this continent, from Cairo to Cape, from Mogadishu to Dakar, where there was a democratic change of government several times in the 1960s when the rest of the continent was wrecked by coups and single party states. I wrote a book about that called Africa's First Democrats. So don't think of Somalia as Al-Shabaab. Think of President Osman and Prime Minister Hussein, who set the tone for what it means to be a democratic, free, and an African country. So Somalis are Africa's first Democrats. Thank you very much, sir.